Alright, welcome to another edition of What the Fuck Happenings in the YouTube Atheist Community. And stick am fun. And vlog our heads too. Might as well talk about them first. They're having a big election. Uh, yeah, for dictator. Our control freak, uh, El Presidente something. Something like that, anyway. So, yeah, I went to, you know, I nominated myself king. <laughs> and I'm not going to win, but, you know, it's whatever. Uh, the whole thing's kind of lame. Um... Because, you know, it's, it's Renetto's site, and, you know, you know, Renetto doesn't want to do any of the work, and so he's just going to have the people do the work. And, um, you know, and if the thing ever is worth anything, then it's his. And if it's not worth anything, then you can just say, man, you assholes fucked it up. So, puts him in a perfect position, I guess. Um, but anyway, it's uh, something happening. It's different, interesting, maybe, possibly. Trying a new camera angle, and it's just realized it's crooked. <laughs> so I probably should fix that. Yeah, let's see if we can fix that. Ooh, now it's crookeder. That's pretty cool. All right, I know this is not proper video, not a proper what the fuck. We're just fixing the camera a during the presentation of the fucking or the wedding. Uh, but anyway, all right. So God, I'm so tired. Really, allergy or something. I'll blame it on. I don't know. I'm just not right. Um, haven't had it this bad and not right day in a while. Really a wrong day. Okay, anyway, um, stick cam. It was okay. I don't know. We talked to uh, that Marin Frost guy, and that went okay. Basically pointed out that I have no interest in filing DMCA's all over the fucking place. Um, and I just went after this straight dope guy because, number one, he, you know, the other guy that he was talking about had apologized. The, the whole thing didn't need to be a problem in the first place. I'm already in court. I don't need more people to put on the list. I really don't. Got a whole big pile of people on the list. Um, <clears throat> so I don't need this shit. I got all I need. But this guy was just so obnoxious about the fact that I'm going to prove that I own you. Uh, that, yeah, I, I felt I had a right to, to you know, file a DMCA. It's the, it, it's the principle of the thing. If you don't get that, fuckers, that's your problem. But anyway, I don't care. So, you know, if you want to go fuck around, fuck around. You might be evidence in the case. I don't know if you're ever going to be part of the case. I don't know, but that's your discretion. But I don't need to file any more DMCAs. Um, so unless you're just going to straight out say in a video, I own your content, uh, you can probably do whatever the fuck you want, and I don't give a fuck. Uh, but anyway, it's... I, you know, I don't know how to, you know... But it's not about argument. You want to argue with me? You want to take my clips? Fine. But, you know, you really do know where lines are drawn, aren't you? Don't you? I mean, like I said, I've said it before. When you people do this shit, you know when you're crossing the fairness line. You know it. Because I've known it when I've done it. And and so um, you can figure it out. So that's the last I want to say. Hopefully for a while. But we'll see. I haven't gotten any counter notices from Straight Dope anyway. So <clears throat> I don't know whether I don't know where that's going. Whether he's just going to eat the two strikes or what he's going to do. But anyway, um, so we'll be on from that shit. So there was some talk about that. One of those other guys, that snarky ad, ad, Eddie something or other, 86 guy was in the stick ham room, I think. I mean, there's some guy with a name like his. And uh, he's like being all human and everything. And it just kind of really pisses me off that these people, you know, they just don't, they think it's all a big fucking joke, <laughs> you know. And that's really irritating. Um, so what are you going to do? Uh, next. Yeah, there wasn't really much philosophy. We talked a little on that economics at the end. I heard the room did okay after I left, which is, <laughs> you know, a, some good philosophy conversations going on after I left. But whatever. I guess that's inevitable. So, I don't know. You know, I haven't figured out the whether, whether we're above or below the bar of keep doing the stick ham thing or not, but we'll see how it goes. Because, you know, it sort of is been, we've sort of been there, done that. And, uh, yeah, been there, done that. I mean, there's all little moments that are fun, you know, little kicking moments or something. Oh, yeah, and then there was the nicotine thing. Nicotine and his girls, or, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I don't even know how to, you know, he's in a, well, there's no point in even, you know, I mean, you know, yeah, I was just, even saying it is hard to say. Um, but anyway, yeah, he was doing the girl thing, um, you know, in more ways than one. And, uh, so anyway, they were going to surprise me in the room, but, you know, I knew they were coming, so, you know, I sort of, and then they didn't even get into the room properly, <laughs> you know, it took them like four minutes to figure out how stick cam works. So anyway, it was just a little bit funny. Uh, but an awkward start to the evening, maybe. Yeah, maybe that's what put the whole thing off. Turn it into a clunker. Um, 
you know, I really don't want to get into a fight with, you know, uh, facts versus fact versus religion and ghost of the day and curse and, or uh, peach, you know, but whatever. I mean, I'm not going <laughs> to, I'm not going to take shit either. So, you know, you're going to throw some shit, I'll throw some shit back. That's just the way it works, fuckers. But anyway, um, so I really don't feel like apologizing for anything I said, but you could sort of take this as an apology if you felt like, but <laughs> I don't feel like apologizing. Um, maybe I was, uh, maybe I went over the rhetorical line. Jeez. <laughs> maybe, possibly. Once. Uh, anyway, so um, all right, we'll move on to the regularly scheduled atheist bullshit. Really hasn't been much to tell you the truth. Atheists are getting damn fucking boring. <laughs> it's a fucking samey and I don't know. Just yeah, yeah. It's just yeah. Um. Anyway, <clears throat> so moving through the list. Anti bullshit man. No video. Morbid atheist guy. Did a video to that Meridian Frost guy. You know, it was okay. But you know, there's no point. In, we sort of had. We sort of resolved the problem. I mean, you know, we're over worrying about each other. <laughs> so. We just uh, we just ridicule each other's style and leave it at that, but there's no like hard feelings kind of thing. Um, yeah, not soft, but not, well, sweet, well, whatever. Okay. Yeah, forget those words. Anyway, um, so moving on. Jesus. Um, so nicotine's did, uh, they're still posting. I guess the blog TV video. So maybe they'll have some video from the blog TV. I didn't see the leg shaving part, so that was probably pretty interesting. <laughs> but when ever. Uh, okay, Pyro's made a bunch of videos, but I don't know, they all got stupid titles like, I don't know, I think with my atomic frog, I don't, you know, whatever, it's just bullshit. Matt's made a video or two, I haven't watched them yet, but I'll have to go look at those. Math Fails made a couple of videos, but every time I click on one, he starts doing that singing stuff, and now he's singing out of books, I mean, he opened a book and starts singing the book, and it's like, oh, oh no, 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 I won't, I will not go there. Um, so that was too much for me anyway. Let's see, uh, DPR Jones, I did do a response video on his, uh, you know, no such thing as objective morality thing, which is essentially saying there's no such thing as truth on planet or in the universe, which is really dumb. There's lots of things we can d deduce from the circumstantial facts and do it with high, high reliability, high confidence, let's use that word. All right, uh, Thunderfoot did his bogus little survey with his bogus little bullshit question, you know, how afraid of the future are you? <laughs> I mean, come on, it's just an unanswerable question, rationally. All you can do is like, eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Uh, anyway, um, so where else do we go here? Ghost of the Day, same thing, you know, I don't know, they're doing their thing, whatever. I don't know, it's quite going on there, threesome, foursome, twosome, I don't know. <laughs> Something's got to be going on, you can't, you know, you just can't mix without, you know, it's inevitably something. It's inevitably. Inevitably. I can't say words anymore. I was talking about that last night. Stick camp. Lost some of my vocabulary. But I think it's just a brain tumor, so no worries. Uh, you know. Big old way, right? Brain tumors? Just big old way. <laughs> yeah, probably, maybe. Possibly. Uh, anyway, uh, Paul Zigo, I, I think it was, in, yeah, he was in a room for a while. He said something. Like, Fuck you, <laughs> or something. I don't know, he said something. I'm pretty damn sure he did. I guess my memory's going too. Part of the problem with the tumor. Uh, Professor Anton did some jerky videos, and I said, hell with it, I'm not going to watch him. <laughs> I guess he's really getting he's too obnoxious, all these, this crap, this overspoken bullshit. Amazing Atheist did a, a real clunker of a video um, with his brother. <laughs> yeah, but that's, his brother's already a huge clunker liability. I mean, from the Bronx did some dopey video, you know, he went, hey, he got a traffic ticket, I guess, for sleeping in the car while driving or something, and he, he, uh, snookered the court clerk out of, uh, you know, any big deal. Um, so, no, you know, it's blah, 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 no videos, no videos, no videos. Ray of Sunder, she really has been putting out the content, you know, she puts out, and, and, uh, yeah, it's pretty good. She, she was in the room last night, too, almost, uh, she can get her video to work, so. But, um, yeah, she's making a lot of videos, and, you know, she sings, you know, she does stuff, and it's, it's, it's characters and things, and video quality's good, and she's, you know, 
She is a uh, up and comer to riser thinger. So I'll post a link. It might be down there now because of the new YouTube changes. Oh yeah, I should talk about those. YouTube's changing everything. Uh, and thumbs up, thumbs down. <laughs> that you won't even know because I guess they're just going to use that in for internal purposes. They're going to have some of the links so you can put things in playlists easy, and I'm figuring that's where they're going to do all their figuring out what videos are popular or not. They're just going to use the playlist thing. Like how many how many times does a person put a video in a playlist? So probably the new line is going to be, you know, subscribe and put this video in your playlist or something, you know, because I think that's probably how YouTube's going to do it. But anyway, um, this rating thing is going to be pointless. Because all it means is whether you favorite the video or you trash the video and I don't think that means that that information is not going to be all that useful. Uh, they ought to limit the number of videos somebody can trash. You know, they ought to just let somebody, you can trash this guy's, you know, one of his videos a week or one a month or whatever.